the live yet. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. I'm so happy to be on board today and your lane, live coaching with Coach Trish Hanna. Ladies, get your preteens, get your teenagers, get your adolescent children, get them together. In this show, we're going to be talking about how we're going to ensure that our faces are kept clean, that we are purged, that we are um, eating healthy, we are drinking sufficient water, anything to do with acne, um, skin issues, whatever. You need to bring them in. I promise you it's going to be a clean show. We ain't talking about nothing out of the way. All right. So bring them in. They need to know this. Those who are experiencing acne at the time, at this time, they need to hear what we have to say in today's show. Your Lane Talk Show was created to empower, educate, and encourage women of all ages. And I want you to know that we have something in store for you today. When we talk about skin care, we consider things like proper nutrition, sufficient intake of water, products that we should or should not use, the amount of sun exposure on our skin, our regimens, etc. I remember growing up, I had some cousins who are, of course, older than I was. They were using this skin, um, this facial thing called Noxema. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's, it's a skin cleanser. They would put it on their faces for, for a few seconds, and then they'll walk around, you know, if so, all around the house. And then when it was time to wash it off, they wash it off. And, you know, the, the scent of Noxema now, I would purchase Noxema right now just for the nostalgic feeling and scent, you know, of being a kid again. But I recall when I was growing up, whatever soap was by the dispenser was what I used to wash my face with. Now, I know, I know this person who I have sitting next to me, she's going to be like, oh, Aunt Trishon, it ain't so. Now, that was then. This is now. And she's going to come and she's going to inform us about how and what type of products that we should be using to cleanse our face. Our face. Your name, episode 16, entitled Skin Care 101, is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson, distributed by Lowe's Wholesale, Airborne Freight and Cargo Services, John Shoe Store and Accessories, Family Medicine Center, Skin Solutions Day Spa and Salon, and Carrie's Fabric and Uniform Store. You can find all you need for skin care like Neutrogena, Evino, and Clean and Clear, Allergy, cold, and sinus meds such as Tylenol and Benadryl. Listerine mouthwash leaves your breath so fresh and clean. And let's not forget about our little ones. Johnson's baby, Avino baby, and Desitin has taken care of the precious ones for generations. Why stop now? There's lots more brands for everyone. Johnson & Johnson, something for you, something for me, and the entire family. All products can be found in Lowe's pharmacies or your local retail store. My predictions. Well, my predictions of emotions today for this episode are 95%. Let me take that down because the person who I have in the studio, we've been laughing from the time she came in here. So let me let me take it down a notch to 90%. 90% serious aha moments. 10% laughter. Does she come in? Pah! 
and zero percent tail drops. I don't think anybody's gonna cry today. I think it's gonna be a good show. I don't know. I don't know. It's just you, you just don't know. You can view us on Facebook on your lane life coaching's page or Star 106 FM's Facebook page, or you can listen to us on channel 976 on cable. You can view the past shows on YouTube. Just look up Coach Trish Hanna. From there, you will view all of our rebroadcasts from the very first one to the one last week about our hair. Speaking about our hair, oh, by the way, please like and subscribe. Speaking about our hair, I was given the opportunity to give away a very, very, very nice um, lace front Tony you were missing last week. Mm -hmm. All right. It was really nice. It's actually on my Facebook page now, Your Lane Life Coaching. Um, this was, um, the, the question was, well, not even a question, the challenge really was, you just call me if you are experiencing any form of alopecia, um, chemical burns, you know, if you're insecure about your hair with the edges, etc. just call in and the lace weave is yours. Absolutely yours. So how about Tony? No one called in. How about Tony? I get all kind of calls after the show. I got, I can send you my, I look at my my inbox right now from your lane inbox, by the way. Um, oh, I really like that way. And I really wanted to get that, you know. Let me tell you all something, Bahamians, okay? Pride can cause y'all to miss out on a lot of things, okay? If there is something that, it's fine. If, if you're saying to me, look, um, Coach Trish, I don't want to share my information out you know in public that's fine then maybe that particular wig is not for you i want to get to the one who don't mind listen that's what it means that's small things i'll call the number now 3288164 because i know that this wig is mine if that is you you can call at any point of the show at any time of the show 3288164 because i want to make sure that hey even though you are beautiful from the inside if you want to enhance your beauty this wig is yours. I understand. Remember, I shared my story last week and um, I was very transparent. I had a lot of persons who actually there's a there's it's a thing, Tony. It's a thing. And there are there are groups on Facebook that I didn't know that persons were telling me about support groups with persons with alopecia, with chemical burns, with all these different issues that women experience. Last week's show was epic. So anyway, here's your chance to win um the wig you can go on to and it's from hairs the secret now if anybody knows anything about hairs the secret she is phenomenal her she her hands are blessed okay you can go on to her instagram or facebook page as well and you are able to see the the, the things that she has crafted on her own by herself with us in studio today is the one and only natilla saunders I like to say saunders some people say saunders but Saunders, now she's going to tell me how to correct her last name, but I like Saunders. Saunders. Okay, Saunders. There you go. Natilla it. Saunders <laughs> is a highly trained esthetician with over 18 years of experience in the skincare industry. After graduating from Florida College of Natural Health with an associate's degree in natural skincare in 2004, she opens and operated skin solutions with focus in, intentionally on therapeutic facials supposed to be initially can't read it nine years later in 2013 she proudly opened nasa's number one full service day spa skin solutions day spa and salon okay even tony saying it everyone know but this everyone <laughs> in the heart of cable beach now you know you really saying something tony if your place like Cable Beach area, right? Are you, you are what? Are you still open? Are you still open? <laughs> You're saying something, all right? <laughs> Through her business, personal interaction with various persons, and by participating in a number of radio talk shows and trade shows, she has helped make a positive difference in the lives of many by helping them improve the health and appearance of their skin. I love that. Some of her areas of expertise include diagnosing and treating problems with acne which is why she's here duh. pigmentation razor bumps and premature aging conditions i am so happy to have her on board not only is natilla on board natilla came with times two natilla came with backup so <laughs> i want y'all to know if there is anything which i doubt that natilla does not know she has an assistant that is right next to her who would actually fill in so i'm gonna let natilla speak first and then i'm gonna ask her guest to introduce herself as well. So let's let's say, Natilla, how are you? 
I am great. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. <laughs> well, you said everything pretty much. Um, you gave a, you know, quite an in-depth, um, you know, overview of who I am, what I specialize in. Um, Skin Solutions has been opened um, for, like you said, about 19 years now. And it's a full service spa catering to both men, women, kids as well. So if you are looking for some self-care, if you want um, great skin, you know, a place to relax and ju rejuvenate, you know, Skin Solutions is, is a place. So wow. I have with me my assistant manager, as well as um, she's like a triple threat. Like she specializes in <laughs> facials, massages, Manicures. manicures, pedicures, waxing. Wow. So yeah, she's wow, we are quite good versatile. For yes. That's got her name. I love that. Her name is Lashan. Lashan Robbins. <laughs> Now, now you can't call me on the show. I'm in June like this, funny. This ain't a show. <laughs> no. How are you, Lashan? I'm pretty good. That's wonderful. Really good. Thanks so much. Today for is beautiful. I thank you so much for coming. So listen, I don't know how I'm gonna split these questions because I have double Dutch today. So I'm gonna just lay out the question and whoever wants to answer first and go ahead. Okay. All right, because I mean y'all got your stuff together. And one of the questions that I wanted to ask, I guess both of you can ask. This, answer this question. How do you define beautiful skin? This is your personal okay. definition and interpretation. You know, I think all skin is beautiful, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, we There's no such thing as perfect skin. Uh, whether you have acne, texture, hyperpigmentation, you know, these things do not define who you are as an individual. So I know these are problems and they are real. People are plagued by them. So I don't like to, you know, Use segment, mm -hmm. you know, clear skin versus skin that is imperfect. Okay. But in our world, once your skin is hydrated, hydrated skin is beautiful skin. It's not about perfectly flawless skin. It's mm -hmm. about hydrated skin mm -hmm. because some people are prone to acne. There's no cure for acne. Acne can only be treated. Mm -hmm. So one who is prone to acne may continue to have acne throughout their entire life or up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, I don't like to say ugly skin or beautiful skin mm -hmm. or, you know, yes, typically once we see somebody who has flawless skin, you know, we would um, deem them as having beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody's skin is beautiful. Um, it's just making sure, you know, just make sure that your skin is hydrated. Once it's hydrated, it functions. But really, nobody has perfect skin. I don't even have perfect skin. I don't. <laughs> Zoom in, please. Because if this is a perfect skin, then I don't know what it is. I'm I have, sorry. I have perfect skin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Name it and claim it, honey. But, you know, what we would, um, hydrated skin is beautiful skin. So I just don't want to, you know, say, okay, if you have clear skin, you have pretty skin. If you have acne skin, you have fat skin. So, Cheers. What, what do you think nice. is, what, what the defines of beautiful skin? Other than yours. Um, I actually, what, what she said is right, mm -hmm. because even though I don't have a lot of acne or I don't have a lot of blemishes, I do have sometimes very dehydrated skin. Mm -hmm. And also when I'm like stressing and I'm going through a lot, my face Pretty takes good. a bunch of the impact. No, I just look dry mm -hmm. and haggard, you know, and so she I put me, use that, that word, but that, that's the oh, truth, oh, right? Oh. That's the truth. I tend to look dehydrated and mm -hmm. haggard and mm -hmm. dull dull uh -huh. my my complexion becomes very dull and some of the stuff she put me on actually really helped my skin to look a lot more hydrated mm -hmm. a lot better a lot more youthful and then that in turn helped my confidence a lot yeah, yeah. we're gonna talk about that yeah. we're gonna talk about that listen i need y'all to share those who are on the live right now please share the page please share the page natilla i sent the live over to you if you want you can put that on your skin solutions page as well all right mm -hmm. please share we have persons that really need to know what's going on and, and what does it mean to have hydrated skin what is it that i have to do what is it that i have to use what are the products uh, that i have to use <laughs> so i'm gonna ask natilla to ask because we, this i'm going to be um before myself ahead of myself um but since you're talking about hydrated skin how what is it that we can use to to 
have our skin to look more flawless and hydrated, so to speak? Um, you know, the number one recommendation is to make sure that your your intake of water mm -hmm. is like, you know, you take you drink a lot of water. So you want to make sure that you internal you um you know hydrate yourself systemically and also you want to make sure that you apply your moisturizer daily mm -hmm. um some of the things that can cause your skin to become dehydrated is the use of soap or harsh products so you want to avoid products that strip the skin products that strip the skin of the natural moisture mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you're constantly moisturizing applying um you know a cream moisturizer or a gel moisturizer to your skin which helps to elevate your skin moisture level we naturally have oil in our skin, but sometimes due to the, to the use of some of certain products mm -hmm. that is inappropriate for the skin, it dehydrates the skin. So you want to make sure that you're constantly drinking water as well as you topically moisturize by applying a moisturizer, a moisturizer that is appropriate for your skin type. So how much water should we be drinking then? By standard, I think they say that we should be drinking about what, seven cups of water a day. I heard That's a gallon. Eight glasses. Eight cups, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I don't get to eight glasses a day, uh, but I do try to at least, you know, one of those liters, like the liter of water, mm -hmm. I at least try to do one of those a day. And like, if I can get to like get some coconut water and stuff. So um, what do people who don't like to drink water? Like, what are some things, like you said, coconut water is good, but you can't mm -hmm. drink coconut water all the time. No, but, but what, can, they, what about putting in little flavor stuff in your water and I mean, they have carbonated other, water? Would would that suffice? I mean, you know, there are, there are many ways to get hydrated. You can get hydrated to fruits. You can get hydrated even to stuff like stuff like um Gatorade and and vitamin water, which mm -hmm. is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, there are different avenues that you can get hydration. You can get hydration through coffee mm -hmm. because water is still in coffee, even though you're gonna you, it could dehydrate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, One second. Mm -hmm. The doctor told you, Tony, on our show a couple shows ago that coffee is not good. So don't be doing this because they no, that's not for you. Go ahead. I'm just saying mm -hmm. by a long shot. Mm -hmm. Anything that pretty much has water and it can hydrate you. Can hydrate you. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, do, to like she say, the different things that we do, stresses, exercising, our bodies do become very dehydrated mm -hmm. um, in the process of life. Let's talk about stress then. Because <laughs> we all, we are, listen, you have kids? I don't have any, but I still stress. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have three, all right? They were with me partially the end. I could say, 90% of the summer they were with me. I had them mm -hmm. in a summer camp for about probably two weeks or so, and then the other times that they were home. So no, if you notice my face break out like this, that's because of them. Mm -hmm. But st stress does it. I didn't know that stress can actually do something to your face. Yeah, so I what can. can we do? To, well, obviously, other than eliminating stress, but it's still a stress no matter what. Is there anything else, any products that we can use, even for persons who still have young toddlers running up and down and stuff like that? So stress is inevitable. Mm -hmm. I mean, what else can we use? It, it's pretty standard, you know, like, I believe firmly in just taking care of your skin, period. Mm -hmm. Adopted it as a, as a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so I think whenever you're, if you're consistent with your skincare regimen, using the appropriate products, you me keep on saying appropriate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, even if you have stress, if, if, your stress, if your stress level elevates, it's not going to alter your skin that much. Right. But the key is to make sure that you are proactive mm -hmm. and take care of your skin at all times. You know, following a proper regimen, right. inclusive of your cleanser, your toner, your moisturizer, and your sunscreen. Those are your basics. So if you do that, even though you, because I have stress, mm -hmm. you know, everybody is stressed out. And um, sometimes it makes, it causes like subtle changes to your skin or significant changes but if you are constantly taking care of your skin mm -hmm. it's not going to be that significant. Yeah. okay oh that okay good all right so let's talk about i think somebody's asked so what would you suggest to use for facial skin hydration I, i'm assuming she's she's talking about products here um you know i'm a big fan of hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. hyaluronic is found in a lot of skincare products mm -hmm. But if you use a serum that has hyaluronic acid, you apply it to your skin, make sure your skin is wet. Mm -hmm. 
the mistake that a lot of people make is uh, when they apply hyaluronic acid, they apply it to dry skin, mm -hmm. and that could actually have the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that your skin is hydrated. Maybe spray some water on your face first, and then you apply the hyaluronic acid. You want to mm -hmm. elevate that moisture level by applying a layer of moisturizer. If it's during the day, you want to put on your sunscreen to protect your skin from the harmful rays. But at night, you can just cleanse, tone, apply the hyaluronic acid, and then your moisturizer. So when we're going into stores like Lowe's Wholesale, Lowe's Pharmacy, we have to climb, sponsor the show. Okay. So when we're going into places like Lowe's Pharmacy for our facial products, right? Mm -hmm. Hyaluronic or hyaluronic, what's it pronounced? Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is something that we should look for in a particular product. Definitely. Now, other than hyaluronic acid, let's talk about things that should not be in those products. What are some of the... I'm going beside myself because these questions are really down. But since uh, we talk, talking, let's just flow. If you have dehydrated skin, you want to avoid like actives such as like salicylic acid, um, Anything that can exfoliate your skin, benzoyl peroxide, those are for like, benzoyl. yeah, benzoyl peroxide is for acne skin. So the best thing to do is um, when you're when you're going to start a skincare regimen, you want to make sure to know the skin that you're in. Mm. Okay. We do have people who come to the spa and even though they're oily, they are dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting them on an acne regimen, we put them on a skin hydration regimen, mm -hmm. which includes um, the skin hydration complex mm -hmm. or the hyaluronic acid to repair their skin first. So instead of um, treating the skin that is not healthy, our objective is always to put the skin in a healthy state first. Mm -hmm. And then they come back in about two weeks. Usually after two weeks, the skin is, re is repaired and healed. So if you have dehydrated skin or sensitive skin, sometimes the skin is not necessarily sensitive, it's sensitized. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. a difference between your skin being sensitive. A lot of people come, oh, I have sensitive skin. Their skin is not very, is not necessarily naturally sensitive. It is sensitized because of the products that they are using. Mm -hmm. So it's best to hydrate your skin, get your skin in a healthy state, and then, you know, we use, um, but you want to stay away from your actives. You want to stay away from soaps. Like the soap, the um, soaps, they strip your skin of the natural moisture. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. use soap. So yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if you want to elaborate some more. I don't know if you can remember. Like one, I don't know how soaps are. I, don't, I tend to not use soaps now anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but one time ago, you would use soap, and then it makes your skin feel so tight, tight, tight and yes. dry. That's yes. not good. No. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I always like the feeling in my ignorance, but now that I know better. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but back in the days, my Dove soap never used to have my face tight, though. My Dove soap <laughs> is a moisturizing soap. Well, <laughs> a lot of people, because we grew up on it, you yeah, know, um, it, it's due to lack of education mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. terms of skincare. Mm -hmm. So our objective is to, you know, educate as many as possible. And, you know, some people, they're addicted. They, they like that tight, dry feeling. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Once our job is done, you know, sometimes I, I have to say, hey, it's my professional duty right. to let you know that what you're doing is not appropriate. And once I do that, you know, I'm at peace that I did my best to try to convert or, you know, but educate or to uh, educate. But, um, you know, that tight, dry right feeling is never yeah. a good thing. Mm -hmm. I know we grew up on this mentality that, you know, you use soap and like you were talking, like you said earlier, you would put the noxema on mm -hmm. your face and leave it on for an extended period of time. All of that is, you know, damaging to the skin. Mm -hmm. It strips the skin. So what you're telling me, right, mm -hmm. is that noxema and those products where we grew up on were products that we should not have been no using? don't get me wrong and i don't want to knock anybody's brand right because i have a brand too and i don't mm -hmm. want anybody to knock it what i'm saying is sometimes we don't use them properly mm -hmm. Appropriately. Um, the mistake mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. you know you you feel as if you, you keep it on longer and there's no instructions i am I've, I've not used noxema for miles about 15. Nowhere on the direction says leave How it long? on for 10, 15 yes. minutes. It tells you to rub in a gentle circular motion, yeah, rinse with warm water and remove. Yes. And that's it. So, you know, people, we go and we do our own thing, create our own little routine, you know, modify people, routine or directions, and then we cause then problems, we you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Listen, for those who don't know, this washing, for those who are still washing their faces with soap, 
don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Um, Natilla is going to give us some uh, products that she thinks would be suitable. And if she doesn't give us the products, because I know you have products as mm -hmm. well. So if you are unable to go to the various pharmacies and stuff to get um, products that have the, what's the, name, what's the word again? Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. in them, then you can stop to her and she'd be able, I would honestly recommend though, before you even get any type of skincare or uh, proceed with any skincare regimen that you speak to an esthetician a professional staff mm -hmm. and go ahead and um find out how your skin type is what how you would know what type of skin type mm -hmm. what what are the other so there's oily skin mm -hmm. there's dry skin are there any other types of skin because somebody asked that question are there any other skin types well okay so you have oily skin dry skin you have um sensitive skin you have mature skin so you know and some of these skin types is really just conditioned because you you because of the inappropriate skincare regimen that mm -hmm. you follow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the basic is normal combination oily and um, dry, dry skin yeah so those are the basics veronica asked i have noticed that with the use of face masks this is a big thing mm -hmm. i have acne in the area where the mask mm -hmm. is how can i minimize the breakout um that is called that condition is called maskne mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. that became a thing during the onset of covid mm -hmm. what i know she's not asking me all this but i'm just for the public's knowledge mm -hmm. what causes that is the constant friction from the mask right. in the cheek areas it causes microscopic tears in the skin mm -hmm. and then bacteria gets into the skin mm -hmm. so it triggers that acne breakout mm -hmm. um it also dries the skin out so that's another thing that we could talk about you know dehydrating the skin could trigger the sebaceous glands or the oil glands to overproduce which could lead to more acne mm -hmm. so the best way to deal with that is to make sure your skin is hydrated remember mm -hmm. we talked about hy yes. hydrated hydration is you know Hydrated skin is healthy skin. Yeah. So you want to protect your skin's barrier by applying your moisturizer mm -hmm. every day. Put on a little extra dab, and that would create a uh, create less friction mm -hmm. and therefore less breakouts. Can, no. I, can I put a little plug in there? Put your plug in there. And change the mask. And well, I hope so. Yeah. I'm hoping that you're no, changing. You want to make sure your mask is clean. Some persons every day. rewear masks. No, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Ladies. Especially those cloth masks. Especially the, the cloth, cloth, the cloth the masks. masks. Yeah. You, them off. you put them in the washing machine. The, yeah. You, you, mm. you can't do it. No, you can't. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> Now, uh -huh. and you know, a lot of people wear makeup under those masks, you know, makeup and masks. Just don't. Oh, I can't wait because I'm talking about makeup. <laughs> I, I don't know how much time we have before. Makeup, makeup have its own segment. Yeah. So, okay, so let's, before, let's talk about black heads and white heads while we, while mm -hmm. we have our time here. Um, what are black heads and what are white heads? Okay, so blackheads are considered, I just want to, I don't want to sound too technical, mm -hmm. but blackheads are, too much technical terms, use what you gotta but use. pretty much is when the pore is filled with oil, mm -hmm. dirt, and other debris, black, um, dead skin cells, it fills the pore. Mm -hmm. Now, blackheads are open, so mm -hmm. we classify them as open comedo, mm -hmm. okay? The whiteheads... They are under the skin, there is no pore. Mm -hmm. So in order to, I know a lot of people, because the blackhead comes out white, they call it whitehead, mm -hmm. but that is not a whitehead. Mm -hmm. It's still a blackhead, but it's not oxidized. It's not mixed with oxygen. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have that white, that black tip or that dark mm -hmm. tip. Mm -hmm. But pretty much um, the difference between a blackhead is one is open where you can we're a, we're a qualified esthetician. Let me stress that. Yes. Not you. Yes. You ain't gonna be in the mirror of squeezing I'm now. I'm gonna talk about that later. Don't, no. don't, don't bite, don't go. A blackhead mm -hmm. is open where a qualified skincare specialist can professionally squeeze them out for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whiteheads are under the skin, so a qualified professional has mm -hmm. to go inside to extract that properly for you. Okay. Listen, you so. know that there are people who love, and I'm not gonna say who, but people who love to, to like 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 we like to we like to say burst bumps, mm -hmm. right? No, no, no. And I got excited when I saw um this thing called it's called acne tools. 
You mean in, the little in, silver things? It, it had mm-hmm. like four extractors. The extractors. And mm-hmm. you, you process that. I didn't get it because I was like, child, I ain't gonna mess with my skin. Can't but you I bless saw it. it and then you could actually, <laughs> you could press down on it and then, you know. You just... see the vacuum that they sell now? No, 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 mm-hmm. there's more things. About... Mm-hmm. So, 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 all kinds of things are there for people to mess up their skin. Exactly. Yes. That's what I was saying. <laughs> mess up. So, let me ask you a question. This may sound gross, y'all. Please excuse me. You know, because I did some research before. Um, before the show and there's this thing that people do where they push the, the nostrils back mm-hmm. so that you could get the, the mm-hmm. extraction mm-hmm. what exactly is that and just ex- you mean the sebaceous filament no that's just oil because we have a lot of pores mm-hmm. okay so remember i mentioned combination skin so you have some people mm-hmm. who have oily t-zone mm-hmm. so that would be considered the forehead the chin and the nose and then the cheek that's pads me. right mm-hmm. So um, the nose naturally produces a lot of oil. So you find that um, the pores are are a lot bigger Mm -hmm. on the nose. Mm -hmm. And so it collects like um, what we call sebaceous filament, Mm -hmm. just oil. Oil. And then you could just squeeze it up. So can we squeeze it? Yeah, because you don't cause much damage. You don't cause much damage. I I don't see the harm in that. Okay. You you see the harm in that? It it just depends because sometimes, you know, you have little blood vessels. Oh, you gotta be careful. You have to be careful. Yeah. yeah like, Anything you do, you should be careful. Okay. Yeah. So if you push the Definitely thing up, be it, gentle. I notice that it happens, but you gotta be gentle with it. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's not gonna scar your face or anything like not that. Not necessarily. It may cause some broken um blood vessels mm-hmm. and cause your nose to be red right. and you're looking okay. at Rudolph the red nose ring. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> my advice yeah. is to be perhaps careful. don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Um now this is a question I wanted to ask. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen someone? I, I was embarrassed one day. I went to the food store and this person's like, Hey, Trishon. And I'm looking at her, and this is before COVID. So they ain't like she had on the mask, <laughs> but they didn't know she was. Right. So I'm looking at her and I'm trying to figure out who this person is. I said, She looked familiar, but she don't, her skin color and her pigmentation mm. ain't the same color from when we was in school. Because mm-hmm. when we were in school, mm-hmm. she was darker than me. Mm-hmm. No, when I saw her out. lately, she looked like, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say the Pinedo. name. Panado? She just... <laughs> I don't know. And I'm, I'm trying to be nice with it because no. I'm like, what, what? I don't remember you being this color. So how you expect me to remember? I didn't tell her this. Mm-hmm. Which is in my mind. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, girl, what you saying? Mm-hmm. And then she had to say her name. I was like, oh. Why? 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 What are you why? asking? Exactly? Why do people why bleach? Why do people bleach there? Why do you think? Because there are different, various different it, reasons. There are different reasons, for there sure. There are different reasons. Yeah. But what do you think the main reason is? Well, this I'm is your sure we opinion, all have had that awkward moment. It happened to me before as well. I saw a classmate and much, you know, but anyway. People alter their complexion for a number of different reasons um some people just want to be lighter because they associate that with like being more attractive, more attractive um you know they think they may yeah. gain some success maybe meet the approve um uh, you know uh a more Better desirable suitor mm-hmm. i don't know um and some people honestly they just want to fade dark marks due to mm-hmm. post acne um break you know post acne scars or you know, so it varies. And, you know, my professional advice is please don't do that because it has long term damaging effects mm-hmm. and most of them are irreversible. So um, it's something that we experience almost every day mm-hmm. that we yes. encounter almost every day where, you know, and unfortunately, sometimes when they come to the spa, it is too late wow. and we cannot do anything. Wow. So in some cases, you know, I don't know about Lashan, but I have experience like when I advise the individual to stop bleaching, I don't see them anymore wow. because it, it is an addiction, to be honest. And, you know, society and, you know, history, it, it, if you go back to the col- colonial days, you know, it, it go, it's so deeply entrenched and embedded in yeah. the mental psyche of people that you have to be bright. Black is not beautiful. Right. And so my duty is to always just try to encourage women and men, because mm-hmm. you have men who are bleaching mm-hmm. too, mm-hmm. to just love the skin you're in. Mm. It pains my heart when I see women or people with beautiful skin go and start bleaching their skin and 
it messes up the the complexion like Mm -hmm. it it looks worse like i don't understand and really i'm not trying to offend anybody no but um you know it it doesn't look good it's not sustainable it's very expensive to Mm -hmm. do that actually Mm -hmm. imagine being my complexion and in two months you know you're like 10 shades lighter Mm-hmm. You have to spend so much shot. money to maintain that. Mm-hmm. Why not just invest in your skin? Mm-hmm. And you can have a beautiful glow. Like, you don't have to be bright to glow. Um, light skin is not glowing skin. No, it, it You isn't. know, I'm dark and I have glowing skin. Mm-hmm. So bleached out skin is not glowing skin. Um, you're doing way more damage to your skin than... It's no good in it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. The only good that comes from... I'm not against using mm-hmm. fade creams or brightening creams. Mm-hmm because of, you know, if you have post acne scars, but other than that, I would not say go and modify your complexion. We're going to talk about this right after the break. Let's get a break because this is a very, very interesting topic. This is a serious topic. It is. And I didn't know that persons can become addicted to stuff like that. Yes. So let's take a break and then we'll go back. It's, it's a mental thing. Like these people, they are there bleaching. I trying to be to my Facebook audience. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Thank you so much. Someone says the best spa in the Bahamas. Hello. Thank you. All right. Someone (laughs) says a new mask daily, but still have extra dry irritation, irritated skin under. So I guess our esthetician is going to help you out with that. You can talk. We can still still talk. Mm -hmm. So what, what do, how do we how do we help this lady who's saying that she you know yeah she, it depends on her skin routine um what is her regimen like so it goes back to what she's doing to her skin mm-hmm. how she's taking care of her skin so mm-hmm. she's not following a proper regimen she's using soap that's mm-hmm. actually compounding the problem mm-hmm. so it starts with her skincare regimen and um, you know what she's using on her face because it's the getting rid of the mask is not the answer because right. even after the mask mandate is lifted mm-hmm. <laughs> once that is lifted you know people are still gonna have issues with dehydration mm-hmm. yeah and even mm-hmm. possible breakouts mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's not just a mask yeah. so that is a problem Tamara I don't know if you want to be able to tell us um after the show if you want to type in while we're talking you know what is the regimen that you use what do you do um, maybe she'll be able to help you with mm-hmm. your irritated your irritation underneath your your mask because it could be a numerous of things as as yeah, it could be a number of things, things that can be an issue there. All right, let's see if I could read. Yeah, some a of lot these. of times when you when you're trying to help persons, you have to kind of get a backdrop. Somebody's yeah. asking, what brand of facial products would you recommend? What do you use? Well, you being Nutella, so t- Nutella talks about your brand. That you well, use, huh? I would always recommend the Skin Solutions brand. Hey. We have products for all skin types. Mm-hmm. We have cleansers for acne, prone skin. We gentle. have a gentle cleanser for all skin types. We have um, the toner, the moisturizer, mm-hmm. the sunblock for protection. Um, that's very important. We can talk about that. Yeah, yeah. I'll write down here somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have a wide variety of products for all skin types. Okay, mm-hmm. so she responded. She said, uh, "She said I use a wash, then toner, and rose oil." What? What wash is she using? What you able to say using? what wash or toner? If you're not, then that's fine. It all depends on her skin. Too. Yeah. And then Do she you, has to use moisturizer and sunscreen daily. That's very mm-hmm. important. Do you charge for consultation? No, um, consultation is complimentary. Okay. I was about to pay for her consultation. If you judge. <laughs> but um, Tamara, let me know. You open tomorrow? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, can, if, are you able to stop on by to Skin Solutions tomorrow to get a consultation? Maybe she'll be able to help you out one to make sure that she helps you. She can call us for a booking. I know. Like, we're we're fully booked. Booked. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hydroblast, she said. You familiar with that? Mm-hmm. Neutrogena? I don't know. Mm-hmm. She just have Hydroblast there. Um, but here is what. Give her a consultation. Mm-hmm. And let me know what all she needs. Okay. Mm-hmm. On oh, yeah. top of your lane talk show. Okay. Let's see what we could do. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. You had out tomorrow. I have that on live. So you can hold. <laughs> Just no, like, yeah. A word. <laughs> all right. See if you can call it and we'll get the numbers after. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome back to your lane talk show with Coach Trish Hannah. We have with us in studio esthetician Natilla Saunders along with her assistant LaShawn Robbins. Hey, look, she's like, <laughs> and we were just discussing before the break, 
the issues that we encounter with the, well, the, the dangers rather of using um, bleaching creams. Mm -hmm. This is a big thing. Let me tell you something. I ain't, I ain't lying. I, 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 I gotta be real. So I had some issues with my face and I'm still having issues with my face, but I'm about to see you too. Well, mm -hmm. call you and see when I can get a consultation as well. Okay. All right. And my mom had this concoction. Mom, no, I think she's to work now. <laughs> and this concoction, you know, every Bahamian knows someone who knows someone who can make a batch. Who can make a batch? A batch. Now I said, "Mommy, I don't want to be no bleaching. I don't mm -hmm. want to look like a bleaching." She said, "No, it ain't got to be. What you could do is take away the thing from the face and whatever." I ain't gonna lie, Matilda. It worked. Mm -hmm. It did work. What All did right. it cure? What I had a little from the same um rash around here i didn't use it i haven't used it lately mm -hmm. but whenever i'm having like little rashes around my skin it would cleanse that it burns a little but it worked <laughs> okay <laughs> from that fat burn in the first time you'd be like to is a no but okay. hey let's go come come okay. talk to people like myself so yeah hold on who gets concoctions with no name on it from their cousin cousin sister brother friend go Okay, so did it brighten you? It did not. Okay, so I'm not sure what that is, but mm -hmm. a lot of um, the concoctions that are made, they contain harsh ingredients. And the fact that something was burning you, it was actually breaking your skin's barrier, which okay. is not necessarily good. Mm -hmm. um, but you stopped using it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that people are, const the mistakes that people make is if they, you know, skincare has to burn. And um, that is not always the case. Now you do have products that contain acids and they will tingle a bit. Mm. But anytime you're using anything that's causing your skin to burn or feel irritated, you wanna stop that, mm. okay? I would not advise just going and, you know, getting any concoction to put on your face because what works for me may not work for Lashan. Mm -hmm. So you wanna go and get your skin looked at and get the uh, the professional, you know, have the professional recommend what is appropriate for your right, skin. Right. So um, sometimes it work, whereas you, you know, people mix up a little stuff and whatever, but I would not, I, I would honestly recommend that you don't do that. You don't mm -hmm. want to play, you don't want to gamble with your skin. That is absolutely okay? correct. That's just gambling with your health. That's because what's it what's is. in it, and your skin know. is the biggest organ, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and it absorbs. Mommy you something, you it think that absorbs. Yes, but that everything. doesn't mean anything, yeah. right? Yeah. Um. But you know, another thing with the bleaching creams is they contain steroids, and steroids they can cause acne. Mm -hmm. They actually thin the skin. Mm -hmm. Steroid is what is in like something called hydrocortisone. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a rash, mm -hmm. which is what I would recommend for you. You have a rash, go and buy some hydrocortisone. Mm -hmm. Use it for the recommended amount of time. Because if you use hydrocortisone for too long, it actually clog your pores because mm -hmm. it's a steroid. Mm -hmm. But if you have a rash, just put a little bit of the hydrocortisone. Use it for about seven days mm -hmm. and then that's it. And then the rash should be gone, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But the bleaching creams, they contain steroids. And so you have people who come in who are not necessarily prone to acne mm -hmm. or have like, you know, regular acne breakouts mm -hmm. who find themselves having these tiny rash-like breakouts, all over their face. blackheads. Mm -hmm. So every pore is clogged basically. And acne that is triggered by steroids is very, very difficult to treat. So you just want to be careful and not use these creams. Yes, a lot of people want to be bright. They want to walk around and, you know, look pretty. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, bright skin is in glowing skin. You know, it's, it's not necessarily the way to go. If you want to fade dark marks, you want to just go and find out what you can use that can safely fade the spot and only use it for a certain period of time. time. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've noticed that a lot. Now, I have to... Um, treading on this very thin because i do also have a client not for this particular show but um for star fm in particular for hot that he wanted star fm in particular that sells bleaching cream and mm -hmm. so i have to be very very careful i mean i'm still more uh, mind you the health of our women comes first mm -hmm. naturally okay naturally and i can tell you that she is cleaning up with mm -hmm. And that's I, I all bet. And, 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 you know, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to knock anybody, mm -hmm. but it's unfortunate. Like, it, it, 
you know, you have professionals out there who are encouraging this mm -hmm. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And it is so damaging. Like, it is so damaging to the skin. The skin is the body's first line of defense. It's our biggest organ. It protects us from bacteria. Mm -hmm. um, you know, without the skin, like... Someone is asking, is glycerin good? Glycerin is um, used in most products mm -hmm. to hydrate the skin. So, yeah. It's yeah. an emollient, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so back to this, I have to touch on this because this is something that, like I said, the lady has a whole business that deals with this and she's not the only one. There are other persons, like I, like I told you, who do win these concoctions and they're making money. But $30 remember, for the remember why they are cleaning up is because they are playing on the insecurities mm -hmm. of most of black culture. women. Mm -hmm. You know, like I tell you, it goes back where we don't embrace our melanin. Our, we don't right, appreciate it. We think... Right. Whiter or brighter. Yeah. It's just something we're just poisoned mentally. And so everybody wants to get lighter. You know what I mean? And these people are cleaning up on people's insecurity. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's what about those who may not be insecure but think that this is the cheapest or easiest or best way to get the black marks or the black blemishes off of their faces and acne? What if they do what? So that Persons time? who may not have an insecurity issue but feel as if it's a cheaper way of I, taking I, like black marks and fades from their faces. I mean, I think that that's the reality of life. I mean, some persons try to look for the cheaper option. Mm -hmm. It's not always the best option. Mm -hmm. And what I find is that some persons who use those products, after the damage is done, they come. So they still end up back to you. They still yes, end up and they still end up spending money. Yeah, uh, they, they, go still more up, money. they go um, to the cleanup people. Right. Damage your skin <laughs> and then come and to then us. Come. And to sometimes and it is it's we far can't gone. Them. And then the expectation is is unrealistic. Right. For timing purposes, when they want to see results, when they it, it's a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's it's sad that we aren't really I mean, we don't embrace like she's saying certain skin types right. or some certain skin colors. I think dark skin is beautiful. I think dark skin is beautiful. You know, because hey. as soon as I get cut, mm -hmm. you could see every mark, every blemish, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I am not against fading dark marks. Right. You can fade dark mark without bleaching your no, face. Right. There's a safe way to. If go. you go on our Insta uh, Instagram page, you know you can see our befores and afters, and none of our clients are bleached out, but mm -hmm. their skin is clear blemish-free, healthy, you know, healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone's asking, is there any natural resources that can use for skin hydration? So I guess she's asking, uh, this is actually a question that I had later down, which is, can we do, are there like home remedies that can be used as well? Yeah, and then and drink that, water. That's what yeah. I would say, drink water. Like, you know, like some people say like things like aloe and stuff are very hydrating, mm -hmm. however, the, my only thing is I prefer to have something that's been professionally formulated right. just because these things are very active. And I remember one time a few years ago, I was experimenting. Oh, it's before <laughs> I really got into it seriously. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't quite into the skincare part mm -hmm. of my careers yet. Mm -hmm. And I was home and I was mixing a little batch of honey and oaks trying to make a scrub. Mm -hmm. And that irritated my skin to the gods. Really? Yeah. It irritated well, my well, skin. Well, the oats because it's 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 like it's a like a brush, like it's it's, a, it's an exfoliant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's an exfoliant. People use um um sugar too, and sugar mm -hmm. is not as sorry. But that <laughs> aggravated my skin so much, wow. and mm -hmm. I was broken out for like about two weeks. Wow, and that's a natural remedy. And that's a natural remedy. Yeah. Now I know people are caught up on this natural, you know phenomenon mm -hmm. where they want to everything you know I, I just had to tell somebody like there's no such thing as natural skincare products mm -hmm. even water is a chemical you understand yeah. water is a chemical so i know it's a mark it, it, a lot of people get caught up and it's really a marketing gimmick mm -hmm. you know when they say oh it's natural and this and that or whatever um there's no natural product out there even the ones that market as natural you know because it's just misleading now i know she's asking about home stuff mm -hmm. i know people like to mix up like 
<laughs> you know, oh, and like new concoction, you know, <laughs> but I got food, I well. you know, mm -hmm. I firm, I can tell you, food does not belong on your face. Mm -hmm. So if well, you want to go, <laughs> it's the truth. Food does not belong on your face. You eat that. I know people like to do this avocado mask. I say, listen. And they actually, hey, if I do an avocado kiwi mask, just, no, eat that kiwi, honey. That's good for vitamin C. You know what I mean? That 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 um, the um avocado mask. Mm -hmm. You know, you get one chip and you eat that. You make guacamole. guacamole. You eat that. I'm you don't put that on your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> no, my introduction to skincare was actually making you know natural concoction, right. and I developed a passion for it. But I later, I later realized, you know, it, it really doesn't uh, make a big difference. Like she says, you know, you could be irritated to it. So irritated, um, you could be um, allergic, allergic, sorry, yeah, allergic, allergic to these products. So you want to make sure that you use products that are well formulated mm -hmm. and, you know, products that are tested, you know, and um, safe for the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, go ahead. What might be safe for me may not be safe for her. Yeah. So it's important if you're going to start mm -hmm. a new product or what. You know, start off slow, start off with the basics right. and um, get your skin in a healthy state. That's always the case because a lot of people's skin are, you know, irritated and dehydrated. We have another question here for you. Mm -hmm. What products would you recommend for a young man on the defense force who has to go into the bush a lot and whose face gets into contact with dirt often but is now having acne? He has never had acne before. Um, now that could be, I'm not sure if that's acne because if, if he has never had acne before, mm -hmm. it's kind of strange that he's developing it now. Could that be stress? I, I'm not even sure of that stress, to be honest, mm -hmm. because um, there's still some people are on the fence with that, mm -hmm. you know, stress triggering acne. Mm -hmm. Some people say it's a myth. I'm not sure. I think it is. because I get stressed and I'm so. not, I, I think you if you are prone out. to acne from time to time, you are going to break out. Okay. But what I would recommend to him, like anybody else, know the skin he's in. Depends on what skin type he has. He used the products that are appropriate. The basics is standard for all skin types. Right. Cleanser, if he's acne prone, he could use a cleanser that has um, charcoal in it or benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. If the person is dry, they want to use something that is, um, that is um, aloe vera based. Mm -hmm. If they have, um, you know, aging issues, they could use products with peptides. It so it all depends. So your basics: cleanser, toner, moisturizer, sunscreen. Once he uses those, pro once he uses those products, it will help to clear up his um, his breakouts. Do you think that could? Um, Sean said something and maybe environmental you think that may be based on that's what I'm saying I'm not sure if it's acne it, it is. probably is something that he came into contact with mm -hmm. maybe some kind of bush mm -hmm. that he's allergic to if he's in the bushes all the time and he's having breakouts so it may not necessarily be breakouts we might we might not be. Huh. you know where I know you from where you know me from I just listen <laughs> one thing with me and my memory I could be I could forget you from like I forget my words or forget the person, two, mm -hmm. three o'clock in the morning, I'll pitch up and remember. Mm -hmm. You used to go to Oaksfield yes. and you had a sixth grade teacher by the name of Miss Anderson, Cheryl yes. Anderson. Okay, that's yes. where I know you. <clears throat> How? <laughs> that's my aunt. Wow. Yes, yes, okay. I'm sorry, back to our discussion. Mm -hmm. wow. hey, <laughs> I told you where I knew you from. Yes. We apologize yes. for the premature we segue. Listened. It was a, I had a moment, all right? I had a moment. <laughs> All right, so here's the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is okay. okay. I can't wait to have answer to this. Yeah, it's the, it's the lighting, everyone. Oh Don't they offer chocolate or fruit infused masks? Isn't that the same thing? It's not the same thing because it's formulated. Exactly. Okay. You know, to be safe in, in the dosage of however they formulate it. Right. So it's not. Okay. So the, the individual, I hope you're able to, to hear the answer to that. So mm -hmm. the difference is, of course, when you're at home and you, you, you're doing your concoction, you are doing it from your own I guess, um, experiments and putting your own ingredients in mm -hmm. what happens and you're just directly putting it on your face because. versus having doing what you guys are doing. And So let's just say, right, yeah. we work in the spa, mm -hmm. right? We have uh, chocolate wraps and... Infused. That's right, the, that's the right, right? Yeah. We have like chocolate wraps and stuff like that. I would not go and take the chocolate wrap and... <laughs> 
what I'm about. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I you ain't going to do that. You know? Sure, because it's rich in so, antioxidants. Yeah. But because, you see what happened? It's formulated with other ingredients. ingredients. So it's not just you go and get a Henry, a bar no, of, a bar like, of her, yeah. she's oh, and you just slather it on the person. Right. So it has Jeremy. other ingredients it because additives. it's formulated yeah. to um, address whatever the concern That's is. Awesome. I love that. That was a bold question, but I guess yeah, you should no, it's, awesome. that, it's a good that question. Awesome. I love the questions, love actually. Awesome. Question. Yeah. Um, so I already asked you that. What are some of the chemicals or ingredients that we should avoid when looking for facial cleansers? So, I wouldn't say avoid. Like, I, remember, I keep saying, what is appropriate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's not about a, if you are, it depends on your skin type. Mm -hmm. You want to avoid certain things. If you're a dry skin, you don't want to use salicylic acid on your face, for example, mm -hmm. because that's for somebody who is prone to acne, mm -hmm. right? Likewise, if you are prone to acne, you don't want to use products that are oil-based. So what is it's what is appropriate versus what is inappropriate. So let's let me do this for my because I don't know about y'all, but my head hurt me with all these different salicylic and and these things. Let's go, let's go um down the line. Let's talk to our oily skin, like myself, for mm -hmm. instance. Let's talk to up to them. This is the audience now. The oily skin, what are we looking for when we purchase our products? You wanna take that one or for oily skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just Regular oil skin, no acne prone, no anything like that. Just your skin is no, just, just more hydrated. No, but what what are the, the things in the ingredients? Just in case we can make it the skin solutions, but I think you know for persons who may want to just go. I mean that that's such a broad question for me. I mean I know some persons who have oily skin. They don't have acne, mm -hmm. but they have oily skin, and I give them a gentle cleanser. That's it. So, yeah. yeah, but some of the products, some of the ingredients that you look for, like if you are oily skin. This is just a like just a general um response right, you know response. um salicylic um benzoyl peroxide charcoal um some people use even um something called it's an it's a new thing that is trending mm -hmm. um niacinamide but you know the basics would be your retinol or your vitamin a as well um salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and let's like talk to, as well. Let's talk to our dry skin persons. Okay, so for drier skin types, you want to look for products that, you know, mm -hmm. aloe, hyaluronic acid, lactic acid is another great okay. ingredient as well because it hydrates your skin as well as it um it actually helps to brighten the skin for those who like to look bright. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice glow. It gives, <laughs> it gives you, you the really glow. Nice glow. Right. Mm -hmm. So you want to look for products with lactic acid. Um, glycolic acid is great too for mm -hmm. exfoliating dead skin cells. Because a lot of people who are dry skin, they tend to they, they tend to um, have flaky skin. So you mm -hmm. want something that could exfoliate like as well. Vitamin C, sir, vitamin C stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So, and then you said something else. Combination skin. Yeah, so the combination skin, they're like in between. So they could use um I would I would say for a combination skin type to use products that are kind of neutral in the neutral zone. Like they could use lactic acid, they could use gentle products that contain aloe. They don't have to necessarily use acne products. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, I, I don't want to get too technical because even some people who are prone to acne, they don't have to use the entire acne line. Right. Because that's Actually, that can actually trigger their skin to be off balance. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important to seek the advice of a professional who could, who, could be, who could guide you and give you a balanced skincare routine. I love that. Yeah. All right. So there's the oily for us ladies. There's the dry. And then there's the, the combination mm -hmm. skin. All right. So I heard I these questions just popped in. Do you suggest the green tea peel for acne prone skin? We do. But we don't, it's a green peel actually, but we don't, I, I would not recommend it for somebody who is um, active, who has yeah. active breakouts. So if you have like um, postules, mm -hmm. the postural lesions, um, you know, if your skin is really active with the breakouts, we would not go ahead and put the green peel on the skin because yeah. that could irritate the skin. Yeah. So in a situation like that, we will um, wait for the client's skin to calm down right. if they have active breakouts and then we treat the skin. Mm -hmm. But if they have blackheads, we can go ahead and do that, mm -hmm. but not somebody with active oh, breakouts. Means. Yeah. How can I reduce sagging skin around the cheeks? Can I get my cheeks back? <laughs> <laughs> 
Unfortunately, we are that is out of our scope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's big. I'll tell you that's about that. out of our scope uh -huh. for practice. Um, but they can they have stuff like Botox now and um, fillers, yes, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that's tune in next week. But in the meantime, they can still take care of their skin by mm -hmm. using like poor um skin plumping products like hyaluronic acid and stuff that the, retinol the, for anti aging. Yeah. Collagen. Mm -hmm. And wear your sunscreen to avoid so stuff. Now, sunscreen. aging is inevitable. Let's talk about sunscreen. Um, because we black, and you know, when we, we black people, you, you don't hear much of us wearing sunscreen. You know, the melanin skin shouldn't be wearing sunscreen. But I know that this is something that's extremely important, mm -hmm. and I want you to tell us why. Sunscreen or sun protection mm -hmm. is a people's thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a Caucasian thing. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. While we are not as prone to skin cancer as the Caucasians are, other races are, we are not immune. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but from an aesthetic point of view, definitely you want to wear sunscreen because it causes discoloration due to overexposure to the sun. It causes premature aging because it, it breaks down collagen, it breaks down your elastin, so it causes your skin to age prematurely. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have... And, you know, for those who want to look glowy, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you apply your sunscreen every single day, rain or shine. Every day? Every mm -hmm. day. I don't outside. leave home. I would say still put it on because these lights here, the HEV, the right, it's still breaking down your collagen. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it on even though you're inside. A lot of people don't. Um you know, but the most important thing is you want to make sure that you apply your sunscreen every single day. Not on occasions. I know people only put it on when they go and by the pool or by the beach. What or... type of sunscreen? Because it's different numbers. I know definitely the SPF, this number, SPF, that number. Mm -hmm. What is the recommended? I would say for us? you want to make sure stay between that SPF 30 to 50. Okay. Anything beyond 50 is just a bun it loaded with a bunch of fillers and it's misguiding. Anything below um, 30 it can cause damage especially you know because of the environment that we live in mm -hmm. you know the kind of climate that we live in the sun rays are extremely strong so you want to make sure that you're adequately protected and um make sure what i do is i recommend the two finger rule mm -hmm. where you apply your sunscreen on your what is this the index, index finger and your middle, middle finger, finger. Mm -hmm. full length and then you apply it and that's the way how you Ensure that you, you are sign it across. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And you rub in. And you know, don't forget your ears and your neck and your chest area. Right, right. Now, can anything be done with baggy eyes? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Let me know. Um that you know, some because remember we talk about um collagen and um elastin. I know that's cause it's hereditary in some cases. In some cases, it's caused because you're not sleeping. Allergies, you know. sinuses. Exactly. A lot of different factors. Um, you have eye creams that could be used, but unfortunately, there's not much that we can do mm -hmm. because I guess, you know, again, it's out of our scope. Mm -hmm. You have to know exactly why it's happening. Right. Because right. it's, it's not always topical. Mm -hmm. It can be, like she said, allergies. It could be something related to your mm -hmm. sinuses. So let me ask you then, ladies, mm -hmm. because you're an esthetician. Mm -hmm. I, did I ask you this earlier? I asked what is the difference between an esthetician and a dermatologist? Did I ask you that? No, Are but... Are you able to answer that? Yeah, the dermatologist is a doctor, actually, mm -hmm. who can prescribe medicine. Mm -hmm. And they deal with, uh, you know, more serious issues like psoriasis, cancer, all that stuff. Mm -hmm they also treat skin conditions that are deeper in the skin layers as estheticians we normally just treat the dermis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so we don't and we don't prescribe medicine we do not we are not doctors right, right. right. um but we are qualified in you know treating conditions such as acne hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. premature aging uh, did I mention discoloration? Yeah, so we do not write, you know, we are not doctors. Yeah. So when person, so, have you ever encountered someone coming to you mm -hmm. to help you with something and you've had to refer them to a dermatologist? Definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah. yes. What would be some of the things that they um, come to you about? Some people come with keloid as well, that's surgery. Mm -hmm. 
So Next we are show. not, we are not licensed to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not in our scope of practice. We don't do anything that cut off anything. We don't do no kind of surgery. Like taking off the molds. What about molds? You can remove molds, but we do not like cut keloids mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So people come to us with conditions as such, and we recommend them, you know, because I just think it's a responsible thing to do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, if something is out of my scope of practice, I am not afraid to tell the client. We can't do it. We are not doing it, you know, because the health of our clients is our priority. And we don't want to do anything to jeopardize their health. Right. So we often, if there's a condition that we cannot deal with, some people come to us with sagging skin as well. Mm -hmm. After weight loss, mm -hmm. we definitely can't do that because that's surgery. Right. So it's a lot of things that's out of our scope that we definitely would not do. So let's just say, you know, on a typical day, what would be the main reason that someone, other than, of course, massage and mm -hmm. the regular, I'm referring to yeah, faces, mm -hmm. our skin, what would be uh, uh, the most common reason for persons to come to see you, you, you want? Um, they just want to get a more radiant skin, a more mm -hmm. radiant look. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. there are no like major issues, but mm -hmm. the most common yeah, is some, just something that is a radiant it, skin. Right. Most persons come to be pampered. Find it. Mm -hmm. Most people want to be pampered. Mm -hmm. well, some people do want to um, mm -hmm. address certain things that they have going on, but what I've experienced is a lot of people want to come and be pampered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, at Skin Solutions, we offer two kinds of facials. We offer the clinical facials, which is what I specialize in. Lashan also specializes in it. Mm -hmm. And we offer pamper and relaxing facials, which Lashan specializes in. Mm -hmm. I don't do that mm -hmm. because I'm not, mm -hmm. I was not trained to pamper and relax clients. Right. But funny enough, sometimes when people get off my table, they say, oh, that was so relaxing. Right. And I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> but one of the things that, you know, the most common issue for most of our clients is acne. That's right. the, one of yeah. the most yeah. common issues, oh, yeah. acne. And of course, most of our clients are black. So the aftermath of acne is hyperpigmentation. So mm -hmm. that's another issue as well. So acne as well as hyperpigmentation. Do you think that the foods that we eat, the oily foods, the chicken in the bag and all that other stuff has something to do with Absolutely not. No, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, don't stress yourself out if you're going to pick up that Wendy's rice. Yes. From <laughs> Wendy's, but the potato fries, you know, um, it's what the fry is actually prepared with mm -hmm. that can trigger your acne. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. she said something important because I, I did a lot of research on that. Mm -hmm. And it's triggers. Yeah. Some people have triggers. Some right. people drink wine and they're triggered by it. Right. And it causes them to get a breakout. Wow. So sometimes it's knowing your triggers. So, so to add further to that, mm -hmm. you have food such you have um, you know, ingredients like iodide, mm -hmm. which can cause breakouts. Mm -hmm. Now, if the salt has iodide and they sprinkle all that iodide mm -hmm. on the fry, it's not the potato. It's not the oil? It's not. No, no, no. It's not the potato, nor the oil. It's actually that ingredient. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have um, stuff like, I think it's seaweed, which can trigger acne. So you have oils as well as, as well as botanicals that could trigger acne. Um, you know, on the farm, you have like cows that are, you know, when they breed in the cows or when they farm in the cows, they lick blocks of salt. Right. Now that salt could be in the dairy, which can trigger breakouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please don't stress yourself out looking at that bar of chocolate and saying, boy, I need mm -hmm. this chocolate yeah, or that out. piece of chicken, that oh, fried chicken, like, you know, they lied to me. or soda, I know, so, oh, poor soda. Poor, now, soda. soda overall, I would not advise, you know, just for the overall sure. health of nice. your body because mm -hmm. of the sugar content. And indirectly, sugar can actually cause aging mm -hmm. because it clings to your collagen and it causes it to break down. Mm -hmm. Right? But we ain't getting into that too yeah. much. But yeah. You could eat your chocolate, you could eat your fry, you know, you put in the air fryer, <laughs> fryer. or you could, you could fry it, you know, mm -hmm. and eat it. It's not going to trigger your breakouts. I know a lot of people say that, oh, my daughter break it out because she going and eat that chocolate bar. And I'm like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's not it. That's not it. No. All my life. Yeah, All it's my hormones. Life. It's you know, your hormones life. trigger your breakouts. Yeah. Um, Topical products that you may apply <sighs> that is not appropriate for your skin type will cause you to break out, you know? So, Nadilla, do you have issues with persons coming with hair on their face, facial hair? Women. Yes. How do we deal with that? I know there are various reasons to why. Hormone there are imbalance. Right, Hormone right. imbalance. So what happens in a case like that? In a case like that, some people opt to do waxing, which we offer, or 
some people opt to do laser, which we don't offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in a case like that, I'd refer them to somebody. So what about using tweezers naturally at home? They can, but some of, you know, like I have one or two and I take it out. Mm -hmm. But you have some women who have like real hormonal imbalance and they have like a full beard mm -hmm. and it's very uncomfortable you know as a because woman you know and and you don't want to do that because that could actually damage your skin it comes back and then you know there some of them are prone to ingrown hair so the mm -hmm. best way to deal with it is to seek laser treatment mm -hmm. Wow, this is but I wouldn't advise anybody today. to just go and use a razor because that could trigger. No, no, don't use no mm -hmm. razors. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. And I noticed too that when persons use um, the tweezers, that they they have like black spots. Yes, yeah. and, then you and the inflammation mm -hmm. from the inflammation. from the breakout. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what really causes um, hyperpigmentation, inflammation. So. Like I said, that's the aftermath of acne. Once the skin is inflamed or injured, it automatically leaves a dark mark. Okay, and um, I think I want to touch on. If we have time to touch go on ahead. the picking, yes, I mean, we want to go, go back to the picking. Yeah, when you go and you know, when you have a breakout, it's best to just go to the professional and have them remove it. If you have breakouts, make sure you use the products that can actually calm down your body, calm mm -hmm. your, your, your acne breakout, mm -hmm. calm it down. Naturally, it's going to leave a dark mark. What you don't want to do is go and start picking mm -hmm. at your skin because you damage your skin on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. And then you could be spreading the bacteria as well to other parts, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then it leaves unsightly scars. Yes. And then, you know, it may trigger you to go and use those bleaching creams, mm -hmm. which continues the vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle because the bleaching creams will break you out. So, I mean, just don't don't touch your face, please. <laughs> that's, that's a question don't right touch there, your face. You know, touch your face. <laughs> it's a no touching zone. You're don't not touch supposed your to touch your face. <laughs> no, nah, Nutella, mm -hmm. it's okay if, if I ask you this question. When I went on your page last week, mm -hmm. um, I saw a, a picture that you had up there um, that represented represented um skin purging mm -hmm. all right can we talk briefly about that because the picture that i've seen um i notice a lot of younger ladies have that's that. why i actually wanted to come on the show today wow her skin is absolutely clear now wow and how mm -hmm. how many uh procedures or whatever I don't she know started you... coming to me back in january mm -hmm. and that too is a result of using a steroid based cream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right so she used a steroid. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. If you go on to Skin Solutions Day Spa and Salon's page, yeah. um, dated July 18th, or Skin you can Solutions go on, Bahamas, go on our Instagram, Skin Solutions Bahamas. Inst Instagram, Skin Solution Bahamas, or you can go on to Your Lane Life Coaching's page as well. I also um, forwarded the, shared her her information on our page as well so skin solutions stays by salon on facebook or on instagram skin yes solutions bahamas you're going to see a picture of what she what we're, just, we're talking about at this moment skin called purging. skin purging let's talk yeah. about that because i see this a lot so pretty much skin purging is when your skin cells turn over or you you whatever acne is under the skin comes up pretty much all at once mm -hmm. it's not a bad thing when people when clients come in for acne treatment it is not a one and done experience as we are analyzing their skin they have acne that is under the skin mm -hmm. developing mm -hmm. so what skin what skin purging is is when the skin start to turn over rapidly remember we talk about products like salicylic acid right. so we for example if we give a client a product that has salicylic acid it starts to peel the skin a bit to get rid of the dead skin cells to help to bring up whatever mm -hmm. so it's a detoxing process mm -hmm. so once you start acne treatment you'll notice that you'll have more acne it's not that the product is breaking you out right. that's where people go it's wrong crazy. they're like oh my face breaking mm -hmm. out i stop they stop mm -hmm. they stop before the magic happens mm -hmm. so you have to walk through the wilderness okay. before you get to right to the promised land okay so I, I always tell my clients that you have to go through the wilderness. You have to go through that phase where it's very uncomfortable. And it's the setting of realistic and expectations. And it's easy yeah. to give up and say, mm -hmm. man, these people, you know what they're doing. But it's a process that is necessary and it's a good thing for us. Right. Mm -hmm. So once your skin starts to purge, that means it's bringing up everything. And then after a while, you'll see clear, beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that purging takes three, four weeks up to mm -hmm. 12 weeks. Because we are not magicians, 
and we don't just you know wave the magic wand and your skin get clear it's a whole process it requires patience consistency some fasting and praying as well mm -hmm. because the approaching period is really really uncomfortable mm -hmm. like she was ready to call it quits and mm -hmm. i had to talk to her so i'm not only a skincare specialist therapist. we are not we are therapists <laughs> You have to do what you gotta do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna take a break, but on the opposite side of the break, I want to talk about makeup. Um, you know, the questions I'll be asking, of course, is you know, how often should we or should not be wearing makeup? Because you are persons that wear makeup every single day. We want to talk also about you know cleaning our tools. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to talk That's about important. when we actually go to see these makeup artists. Like, what are some of the questions that we should be asking them? Because we don't know. If they're doing the I'm just saying. So we we're just in faith thinking and believing that hey these products are these these tools that you're using have already been cleansed and clean and everything and you're going to put them on like yeah. this all right so let's take a break and we'll get back okay okay all this talk about skin care i need to go wash my face with my skin solutions line i know i won't get my oil free sunscreen i promise <laughs> thank you so much uh facebook audience for keeping us keeping the, the post lit as always these questions are really good questions these are everyday questions we have an opportunity to have a professional here to answer us um and that's awesome okay that's thank you thank you thank you Okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. one of the airborne freight and cargo services for the first time. We yeah. are giving you prizes just for shipping with us. Oh, okay. What are you giving us? Uber giving away gas vouchers, coupons from various outlets, up to 20% off your shipping fee, and so much more. Could you please have some more? I want to give away something to someone. Is there anything that you have or something that I can actually refer persons to go to you to, to get? But you know how you had this little kit the way you did? I can do a full kit. Y'all, Facebook audience, you know I favor y'all, right? I'm giving y'all a heads up. We're going to be doing a giveaway after this break. 3288164. 3288164. Three, and she's going to tell us what's going to be in this particular kit. Matilda's going to tell us what's going to be in this kit. So you can call in so that you can win it. All right. So tune in. Yeah, let's just talk about this is a real retreat that is designed to be a relaxation destination. They are committed to giving you personalized service in a clean, relaxing sanctuary where you spend one hour on the entire day. Their services include skincare and facials, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. And also, you can tell us more because your commercial says what are the services, but if you have other stuff that you want to talk about, we can talk about that. We have some time. www.skinsolutionsbahamas.net I'm not sure what they call it. Let me just find out what they call it for first because I haven't really said anything. Okay. Let <laughs> me try and see if the phone working. The line is working. Already? It's fine. Mm -hmm. But I haven't asked my trivia question yet. Unless you're calling to ask a question. Wow. Good. You're listening to your lead with Coach Trish Hanna. Listen, before okay. Ready? Yeah. Before we continue on with Natilla and Lashan, who bought into my really good news. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good, hey. Yes, that's that for my boy. Sammy Star. Sammy Star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's another kicking in it. <laughs> that's another story. Sorry, Sammy. I just I just went blank for two seconds. It's yeah, okay, Sammy Star happens. did this. He is um anyway, I, I don't even that's a whole show to talk about his skills and his 
his talent. But listen, I'm wearing these earrings that I got from this place. Um, well, first of all, I interviewed um, someone last week. Her name is Latoya. She has she had a grand opening last yesterday. Um, the name of her place is the House of Deborah, and within her grand opening, there were a. a about I would say ten or so stalls, small businesses that had their various venues, um, stalls, and they they showcased their products and they spoke about their services X Y Z. So I went from stall to stall, and I was so impressed about the, the amount of Bahamians that we have who literally do their own thing. Like they make their candles, they make their um, body scrubs, they make earrings, jewelry, whatever have you. And I picked these earrings out. Um, I like like different unique things nice. I, yes i me that's just me um so and and i, I don't mind and i told like that i like it so much that i'm gonna call her name the name of the store is 60 to 60 um it's actually an art gallery and they also sell uh jewelry custom jewelry so 60 to 60 i want you to know that i am flossing your earrings okay that you crafted and these to me are beautiful so Big up to you. They look amazing. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. But let's get back to what we're referring to today about. But before I do that, until I have to say something else, I like giving away things. Mm -hmm. I want to give away something to someone. Okay, sounds good. All right, good. two things. One, this is a really, really, really good one. This is one that I thought about today, and I just ended up calling um, Carrie's Fabric and Uniform Store. I called the name of the person. I said, listen, I want to give away something, so a uniform three uniforms to a single parent, something about single parents because I grew up with a single mom. Mm -hmm. That is very near and dear to my heart. And I want to do that and I know it's late, but that's okay because you don't even have, you could WhatsApp me. I can give you my WhatsApp number right away. And this is to one single parent who, why am I getting emotional? Who may have an issue with purchasing some uniform for that. Well, it's, I'm getting giving you three uniforms, and it doesn't matter the school that that person attends. It could be for a boy or a girl. So you get three uh, shirts and three pants, or three shirts and three skirts. And I want to give that to you, courtesy of Carrie's Uniform and Fabric Store. Okay, and the number to call is three two eight eight one six four. Or you can WhatsApp me real quick at 3768689. I'm not going to blast you. That I'm not going to do. So if you decide to call now for this particular thing, um, we just want to get your phone contact and your name so that I can reach out to you after the show. You're not going to be on air. Okay. Now, for the ones who are going to be on air, mm -hmm. we want to give away something from Skin Solutions, Day Spa, and Salon. What is it that we're giving away in the salon? Okay. So we're giving away... Uh skincare kit, a skin hydration kit, which comes complete with a cleanser, the gentle cleanser, the aloe vera toner, of uh, skin hydration complex to moisturize your skin, a moisturizer, as well as a sunscreen. That is awesome. Say that again, Adela. Say that again. So a what cleanser. Because mm -hmm. this is the steps. This is what yes. they do first. What do they do first? Cleanse. Cleanse. Tone. Tone. Then they apply the repairing serum. Mm -hmm. So actually I'm not gonna limit it to just the hyaluronic serum. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the person's skin type and their needs. I will include a repairing or a targeted serum. Mm -hmm. So it could either be a retinol serum, which is great for reversing the signs of aging. Mm -hmm. It's great for acne as well. Or they may get a vitamin C serum, which is my absolute favorite serum because it helps to brighten the skin. It helps to re reverse sun damage. Now, when I say brighten, I'm talking about whitening out your face. No, no. It's going to help to balance irregular pigmentation. It stimulates collagen, so it's anti-aging as well. And um, so either the retinol serum, the vitamin C serum, or the skin hydration complex, which is our, which is our um, hyaluronic acid, which I mentioned earlier, which helps to elevate the skin's moisture level. So how many things are in this kit? Five. Five. Yes. Yeah, so your cleanser, toner, moisturizer, sunscreen, and a specialty serum for your skin type. 3288164. 3288164. Let's get the third caller. Let's get the third caller. 3288164. And you can, I just, before we put you on, just let, let us know what you're calling for. Because if it's the uniform, I don't, it's going to be secret. I, I mean, I don't want to disclose that. That's fine. Um, but if it's for the, the, 
acne pack. It's not really for acne. No, it's just, just for cleansing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for cleansing the pack, skincare for skin kit, solutions. Yes. Then 3288164. You're going to be the third caller. Let, the let Tony know. Okay. <laughs> come on now, somebody. Let's go. Let's go. Lucky, <laughs> let come on, because you need it. Because we all need it. Let me go. I'm going in the back to go call <laughs> Star 106 so I could get this this product. Hello, am I the third caller? <laughs> I'm gonna do that, Tony. Put up your bathroom. Right. Right. Then, then we have caller number three. Caller number three. Hello. Uh, hello. Hold on. Caller number three. Hey, I want to hear. I want to right, sing on the air. Let the, let the Facebook audience hear. Okay. Your lane talk show with Coach Trish. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, I guess I'm so calling number three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Uh -huh. We wanted to pull a leg a little bit. No, you were calling number two, <laughs> sweetie. I'm getting yeah, I'm calling number 2.5. You? you are so, so blessed to take because you're getting this. I think Matilda just did like it's, five different it's things. It's an amazing gift. Um, mm -hmm. That's an amazing gift. She's gonna love it. Oh, She's going to love it. Amazing. So, um, how you feel? Feel great. That's awesome. wonderful. So tell me now when when we well we'll talk about that after mm -hmm. the show. Uh, what I'm gonna do is ask the producer to get your name and contact. Um, do you want to disclose your name? Yeah, my name is Tamara. Hi, Tam Hi, Tamara. Oh. <laughs> you are already getting something complimentary of your lane. Well, let's must be it here. Then. All right, there you go. Either way, you were going to be blessed. Um, but thank you so much for calling in and thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that I know that these products that Natilla is giving you from Skin Solution is going to benefit you tremendously. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for calling. What you're going to do is give the producer the phone, your phone contact and your full name so that we can tell you how you can obtain your prize. Okay. Thanks for calling. Congratulations. Um, congratulations. It's still good when you get mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. right. Definitely. It's a blessing. I love and then that. tomorrow, um, tomorrow's the, your, you know. The, tomorrow right, and she, and she needed it. Someone yeah. said, congratulations tomorrow. Man, listen, I this, this, is, this is awesome. And something's okay. lying on me just now. Listen, so Nutella, while we're, we're closing out, okay. do you have a, you and LaShawn, what can we tell your audience as your closing remarks this evening? Any advice? You know love yourself mm. love the skin you're in make self-care a priority take care of your skin take care of your body drink a lot of water get a massage from time to time you know do something love that yourself. makes you feel good just love yourself mm -hmm. you have one body that's mm -hmm. all you have take care of it you know just love you and don't bleach your skin <laughs> don't bleach your skin don't bleach your skin like don't seriously i think she said it all too well just treat yourself well love you treat yourself well mm -hmm. listen so this is my time I, I have about a minute or two where I'm, i like to talk to my audience it's called my challenge moment or i don't really have a name for it but i like to challenge them and one of the things that i wanted to challenge our listening audience is to want to i want you to find the mirror it don't have to be now it could be after the show and i want you to say i am beautiful i am beautiful i am fearfully and wonderfully made i am fearfully and wonderfully made god knew exactly what he was doing mm -hmm. god is a genius when he made me <laughs> when he made me <laughs> okay I'm all right closet let me tell you something true beauty it's, is not it's, external exactly only. It's internal. It's internal. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You it may is. have marks, acne, freckles. I love. But freckles, you are beautiful. I love freckles. You are beautiful. Molds. You are still Flaws unique. There all. is no else in mm -hmm. the world that can do what you do. Exactly. Continue to work on your inner beauty as you are enhancing your outer beauty. Exactly. And there's something else that I notice that people do now. I'm they've been doing this from time immemorial, and that's comparing ourselves as women to yes. others. Yes. Exactly. Women. And take your time. Take you know, your time. Take your time. Whatever happens for you may not, not not happen to me at this, you know, in the same pace. But take your time and just trust the process. Trust the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you stop comparing yourself with yes. other people, stop comparing. We used to do the magazines. Now we're comparing ourselves with social media. Exactly. We're comparing ourselves with people in the church. We're comparing mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. as students. You yep. know, looking at other students. Look, Definitely you a liar. are beautiful. All right, you are wonderful. Don't worry about this person with their you don't know what they're going don't through. Know. You don't know the struggles that they're going through. Mm -hmm. Stick with staying in your lane. That's exactly. the whole purpose of my yes. show. Yeah. Stay in your lane, honey. 
just stay in your lane. Um, if you're, then this is something that Natilla is saying, if you're experiencing skin damage, seek professional help <laughs> yes. and counsel. Don't mm -hmm. go using the product Susie used, mm -mm. thinking that it worked mm -mm. for you, because mm -mm. what used worked for Susie may not work for mm -mm. you. And don't try getting no concoction from your mommy. Let don't be pressured. Did, okay? <laughs> Love the skin you're in. All Take right. care of it. Simple basic routine okay follow a simple basic routine and you'll have the skin that you love and deserve absolutely you know what I'm saying? I, I never always i there was a time i never thought i was pretty i never thought that a lot of people would be like you're so gorgeous and you're so so this so the way that you see yourself it accounts for a lot yeah you know and so it's good that if you are experiencing challenges with your skin yeah. to seek the necessary okay. help mm -hmm. because yes we want to love ourselves just the way we are but if you could actually correct the problems, yes, you I could um that. you can right. actually um right. boost your confidence, your confidence. Right. boost yes. who you are, mm -hmm. boost your self-image. Yes. Um, because even though I didn't have all the problem skin, I still saw myself mm -hmm. a certain way. But it, it was until I started to work on even some of the stuff, mm -hmm. I started to you could see the glow come mm -hmm. Right. So sometimes the glow is just the confidence. Right. Yes. I love so, that. So, yep. I know, love that. So, so, all right, invest in yourself. You invest, invest in your weave. Exactly. Invest in your nails. Yeah, invest, invest in your skin. skin. All right. You know, yeah, it don't make sense. No, we're not even wearing no. makeup. It don't make stop. sense. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I was thinking you were wearing makeup. I know. She just has a little lipstick. Little, little, little thing, whatever. But no. No face powder. Mm-mm. I can wear it tomorrow. So, you can wear makeup. You can wear makeup if it makes you feel good. But it's always good. That you can take that off and, and feel still be good. Yeah. Yeah. Mind how much time we get. <laughs> Tony giving me the, 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 the nasty eyes. Right, right. Right. You have an idea. But real quick, yeah. Tony. I know this, those were my closing marks. That if you need to to speak to someone, if you wish to share your experience with me, you can email me at coach trish at your lane life coaching.com. If you need help with coaching in this area or any areas, it will be um, express today, go to www.yourlanelifecoaching.com or you can also go to Natilla at Skin Solutions or the Shah at Skin Solutions. And of course, they're going to mm -hmm. recite their numbers real quick. Mm -hmm. It's the off the work number is 327 0500. And the social media is Skin Solutions Bahamas. Okay. And then the website Skin Solutions Bahamas.net. Okay. There you can request a free consultation, yes. like Natilla said. Um, yes. What location? Yes, so we are on Cable Beach above Menchies, Menchies and Liquid Courage. Blue Postal is there now. Okay. So we share the same building. So please visit us. We'd be more than happy to take a look at you. Is there a discount to persons watching or listening to the show? Charles is in. Okay, so we can offer a 10% off services okay, over $50. So there are some restriction, okay? And it? yeah, the amount of the service that it's okay, applied over to. $50. Yes, it has that's to be over fair. $50. That's fair, okay, so for, that's for only for a limited week. time yeah. for one week only. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Okay, that's fair. I think that is fair. Um, last but not least, my kid, my girls asked me for a spa day. Mm -hmm. All right, before they go off to school. Now, I try to cause them to be bougie children, but I just like them to feel wrong as with being if they're exactly feeling no, as if that they, you know, <laughs> they are pampered at, at mm -hmm. young so that they could know how to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, when I was on your website, I noticed that you have something called the Princess. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll be having that. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. So how old are they now? Um, Charlotte is nine and Chloe is four. Is that okay, yes, fine. That's yeah, because it's a time, it's a, it's an age limit. Okay, yeah. Good. So today's show is brought to you by Johnson and Johnson, distributed by Lowe's Wholesale, Airborne Freight and Cargo Services, John Shoe Store and Accessories, Family Medicine Center, and oh, Skin Solutions Day Spa and Salon, and Carrie's Fabric and Uniform Store. I noticed that I'm getting the stinky eye, but I noticed something also. Ooh, we did not right. Uh, uh, Tony is hungry. Let me hurry up. Next week, we'll be talking to Dr. Gregory Neal, board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon amazing. from Bahamas Plastic Surgery, one of the best surgeons we have here in the Bahamas. And the topic cosmetic surgery is a thing. Okay. We will be discussing mm -hmm. implants. <laughs> I get that book. Lips and hip nice. enhancement, uh -huh. removing and increasing body parts, and so much more. Listen, uh, listen. After the show, go to your Lane Life Coaching page. I have a question that asks. 
if you were given the opportunity to have surgery to remove or enhance a part of your body to feel more confident mm -hmm. or comfortable with your appearance, what would you want done? My breasts. Your breasts. What would you? Tummy. Tum me too. Tummy for I'm me. Because I have three kids and I have a little flap. I don't the like girls, that. The girl's little flap. No, man. You need to stay straight. <laughs> <laughs> People are like us who need, like when we try to pull on a little two piece, we see the little two piece hanging over the bottom piece. Tony, you you never see that. Again. Oh, yeah. I would just do my tummy a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Doctor McNeil is, I'm uh, Doctor Neil rather, is going to talk to us about that. I'm so excited, and he's such a humble person. Oh my god! Yes, oh, he's amazing. He, yeah, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again, Natilla Saunders. Thank you so much, Lashan Robbins, for stopping by with your insight and your knowledge. To our wonderful producer Tony, who was on vacation last week. Um, Tony, we miss you. But I want you to know. Well, Tony was having fun in Auckland, y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh, for our first time listeners and to those who continue to listen in, for persons who are on our live, who always listen, y'all have a party on here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so humbled. Um, I pray that all of you that were listening were all empowered, educated, and encouraged today. Until next time, have a blessed evening, and everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so you want me to call you